Hey viewers, how are you today? Okay, the day has come. I'm gonna do the test on this battery, the cheap 100 amp battery off eBay. So I'm gonna put a watt meter up on, a, on the Anderson plug so I can measure the power going through the battery. Also, after that, I will do a test to see if this discharges 100 amps as they say it does. So stick around and we'll see what happens. I have charged this battery. It's reading 13.7. Okay, the jug's already going. We'll test this battery out, we'll see what happens. And I will give you my honest opinion if you should buy this battery or then again, if I'll buy three of them. We will see what happens. Keep doing this jug and I'll keep repeat boiling it. And I'll, this meter will stay down here. You'll see amp hours. That one right there, 0.6 amp hours, that one there. I'll keep doing this until this battery goes flat. Okay guys, to speed the process up a bit. Now, I'll plug this inverter in. I'll turn it on. Yeah, so this should speed it up. Okay. This will not run on so far. 40. So 43 to 47 amps. I've got two drills going. Got that. That. Running off the inverter. Charging the battery. Six amp hours so far. The battery is getting quite warm. Forty three degrees, forty four at the top of the battery, sixty five amp hours so far. Yeah, it's reset again, but it was 66 amp hours and it just let go. I think the BMS must have reset. The battery is on 11.3 volts. Now I'd say the BMS is cut out because this is actually reset. I did set up to 66 amp hours. So I'll keep going. But I won't use... Oh, here we go, the murder's back on again. I'll try the drill. That's that's gonna throw again. You can hear the drill dying. Yeah. The kettle's still on, but I'll, I'll keep an eye on this meter. And the battery is 10.2 volts. It is getting flat. That's it. She's like, go. Uh, so, about 67 amp hours is what this battery rated at. The BMS is cut out. This battery is dead. So that goes to show you get what you pay for. It really does. Um, I will do another test on this, on the inverter. I will, I'll charge it again. See if it, it's revived, I don't know. Yeah, so 10.7, there we go. I'll put the charger on it. All right, I will do another test on it. So I'll give it a charge. I've taken the battery out of the box. I've connected up my 3000 watt inverter. I have connected it to this battery. I've got my kettle. I know for a fact this draws 75 amps on the battery in the vehicle because of the battery monitor. Okay, now these two drills draw approximately 26 amps. So you're looking at around 
101 amps running all this at the same time. So I'll turn the kettle on first. Okay, now sorry, it's gonna get a bit noisy. All right, we'll try the kettle now. Now there we go. That's two drills going, and the kettle's going. Kettle's boiling now. So it's putting out, guys, it's about 100 amps going through. 12 and a half volts on the battery. Quite normal. And then turn the drill off, something wrong with the switch. But okay, it puts out the 100 amps, as it says. So that's no worries there. But realistically, this battery is really rated to about 67 amp hours. If you can handle that fact, that it's around a 67 amp hour battery, go and buy it. If you can't, then then I suggest you don't buy it at all. Just giving you the real facts of this battery, guys, if you happen to buy this one anyway. But just be very careful of the cheap batteries on eBay because a lot of them are not what they say they are. All right, guys, well, that was the test. So this battery does run the 75 amp draw from the kettle. There is around 100 amps with all them running at the same time. The rating of the battery being stated as 100 amp hour um, it's not the case at all. It's probably okay I'm not, for what I'm going to use it for. It's just going to be in the, yeah, you know, for me, just to have in this battery box. Like I said, I'll have it in here, use it in the wife's car. When we want to go away in her car, we can run the fridge with it. You know, we go somewhere overnight, we stay in a motel, we can just run the fridge in the car on this battery. This battery should run the little kick-ass fridge approximately two, three days, I reckon, at least. Um, I'll let you be the judge of that on, you know, if this battery's any good for you. It might be okay, it might not. But I just thought I'd do this test to make you aware of its capacity. So, alright guys, hope you found this video very helpful. And thank you for watching, and cheers. Bye.